Hey, what is up guys, Sledditz2 here, and today Windows 10 is out, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to live stream using your Xbox One. Uh, also, uh, you're going to be using Windows 10 to help you create a better, more uh, creative stream, because right now you can still stream from the Xbox One itself by snapping the Twitch app um, and going down to, I guess, Twitch, which will be up here. Now... Hopefully you guys can see this. Yep, awesome. Um, now, once you've snapped, you can you know broadcast right from the Twitch app itself. But today, I'm going to be showing you guys a different way to do this, and it's actually really cool. Uh, hopefully you guys like it a lot. Um, let's get started. So, uh, here we go. Now, this is Windows 10. Uh, it's got the new start menu. It's pretty much all set up. It's awesome. Now, it's got a really cool feature. It's got the Xbox updated app. Um, where you can actually play from your PC and stream your Xbox One to your PC. But we're going to be using it a different way today uh, to help create a better live stream. So, uh, what you're going to have to do is open the App Store here, and you're going to want to uh, download the latest uh, Xbox app uh, by clicking this little account thing at the top and going down to My Downloads. Um, now, in this My Downloads, you're going to have all your, your spots where... Um, you're going to be downloading all your updated apps. You want to make sure all your apps are updated, uh, the Xbox One in particular. Uh, once you have that updated, you're pretty much halfway there. Um, once that's done, you'll open up the Xbox app itself, which is right here. Uh, now that's open. Now, what you're going to have to do is connect your Xbox One console. Now, mine's already connected, uh, so I'm going to disconnect it and just show you kind of what you need to do. Uh, it needs to be on the same connection as your house, uh, but let's just disconnect it and show you what to do. So now my console automatically showed up. You're going to want to click right here on the left. It's going to say connect your console. If it doesn't show up, you might need to type in your IP address of your console itself. Uh, you can always go to the settings on your console to figure that out. Now, once I hit connect, it is connecting and it says I am now playing. So I'm going to minimize this a little bit just to kind of give you an idea of how this works. Um, now I'm going to start my stream. So it's going to start streaming my Xbox console uh, to my PC. Now, no, now notice that you said it's a PC controller is not connected. I'll get there in a few seconds. Um, what you're going to do is hit OK and continue. But if you want to play using your PC, you want to plug in a micro USB cable into your uh, like PC itself. And then it will allow you to use your, your controller. And it's actually not that bad. It's not that bad of a lag at all. Um, now. I'm going to minimize this. Now you're going to want to make this probably 720p resolution, um, which is almost about half your screen. But uh, now you can use XSplit or OBS uh, to make your stream a little bit better. And this is what's going to allow you to add graphics like you see here on top of my stream uh, and everything like that. Once you actually get this up, and you can actually see here that you can you can play it shows everything in live um, this is basically like using a capture card you know for your computer you don't need one uh, the the PC is streaming it right from your console which is awesome so what you're gonna do is next take your X split which you see behind me and you're I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger for you guys now it is gonna um, do a lot of its weird stuff but you're gonna want to take X split and I'm gonna make a new source here. Actually, no, I'm not. You're gonna hit add screen capture. And once you add your screen capture, you're gonna highlight over top of the stream, as you see here. I just added the, uh, the game itself. Now, it's kinda hard to show you just because the way this is set up. But um, you can maneuver the stream around uh, I like to right click and basically execute window capture, unclick that, so that way it shows up um, like it's supposed to. Now there it is, you see it? Moving that around and then you want to put this in the corner and full screen it. And this is going to allow you to just stream just your, your gameplay, um, nothing else is going to be over top of it. I don't know how this is looking on your guys end um, of the actual recording. But once you do that, I mean, you're pretty much set. And then you can add graphics and such. Um, 
right over top of it by adding media and then you can do like pictures you can put like a little graphic over top and then you can take that and put that wherever you want but yeah I mean then on this right side of the screen you can actually put your chat up and such but that's pretty much how you're gonna be able to live stream um, using your PC and your your computer is basically your source now a lot of people are used to this when they had the very first um, HD PVR they had to screen cap um, but with a decent computer this is gonna be better than going out and buying a hundred fifty dollar two hundred dollar capture card and the quality is really good um, it's gonna be amazing so definitely something I would look at um, and this is gonna allow you to take your stream to the next level especially if you don't have a capture card currently and you don't have plans on getting one anytime soon um, but like I said man um, you can live stream here and then you can just add graphics and once you set that up you can just you know take that add a media file put it in there move it around pretty much make it however you want and uh, you still play from your regular monitor TV that you, you're currently using so um, yeah it actually uh, is really cool and thank you guys for tuning in I really hope you guys enjoyed this video um, like and subscribe and uh, see you guys next time for some more awesome tips and tune into the live stream on twitch.tv slash see you later guys peace